changers. They basically get, like, tapped on the shoulder because they're the best Battlefront players in the world, and then they get secretly flown out to Stockholm. As long as they provide valuable feedback, they get an early look at the game. Sounds like an awesome program, and if I didn't suck... I bet none of them talk to fans. Let's hear more from them about their time at DICE. This is just gonna be useless propaganda. Star Wars Battlefront 1, the community thought there should have been more. And the yes. game's resist, the developers have been listening. Oh, have they? That's a surprise. Oh, fancy that! We've been listening! That's a big surprise. Why weren't I invited out there then? There's still time to change something if it's not working? Listen to me! The promos I've cut on this game. I should be a wrestler. My first impression with the game is upgraded. All three eras are good. Kylo Ren vs. Ray. Kylo Ren runs everything. We've got a whole bunch of new features. One of the biggest ones that a lot of fans are excited about is the class system. Ah, look at the clones! Different classes. They have different weapons, even special abilities that you can customize. It affects your health. It affects how you are going to support your team. It doesn't look a bad menu, to be fair. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, hello. The gunplay and the weapons have completely been redone compared to the first Battlefront. Now there is a lengthened skill gap in it. It feels a lot better and go, oh, okay, this gun feels kind of more real, less floaty. Which is a very thorough so far. We're introducing a system called Battle Points, which will allow you to become not only heroes, but other things on the battlefield. <laughs> As you're helping your team play the objective, you gain these points. There's such a plethora of things to spend it on, vehicles, or even coming in as a hero. And the coolest thing, I think, is a level of customization, not just from a weapon standpoint, but the actual character's own ability. Collaborating with the Game Changers is always a really great working environment when you're trying to figure things out. I mean, so now that you're giving new feedback to make it a better experience for everybody, it's like putting your footprint out there. Don't know why I wasn't invited out there. Uh, so I'm going to participate in making the trailer. A, it's a whole different level of fantasy. Alright, recording. Uh, three, two, one. And now... On behalf of the EA Game Changers and DICE, this is the world premiere. Ah, first order, wonderful, yes! And the Empire Clans, ah, oh, yes. I heard Grievous in there. No. Yes. That's how you make episode one better. Very, very beautiful. Very nice. But that's not the arrow I'm looking at. Got a couple of clones. Ah, first order, start killer base. Death Troopers. Boba Fett. There's Yoda, who had his lightsaber burnt. Incoming terrorists. Ah, oh, yes. Peace. Oh, no. The first order. That's it. No. Well, that didn't tell me anything. That just showed me I had clones in it and that was it. Small Wookiees, Kylo Ren versus Rey. I, I, I watched that thing like 20 times backstage with my mom before this even started. My mom's here, yes, it's a big day for me. That didn't tell me jack shit. <laughs> Told me nothing. 
Nothing at all. There's customization for the so helmets, most likely. That, yeah, that's all that, that you can customize guys and there's clones. It didn't show me more of, of the new era or what they've done to redo on the original trilogy era. You can probably blow up the palace in that boot. I mean, that's part of the trailer. Again, it's more cinematic stuff than it is. Head to head in a 20 versus 20 match. Babylon feed, and I'm going to take the 40th slot. We'll see. <laughs> okay, but you're not going to want to Why was I not invited to play this game? Oh, yeah, because I've probably slated off EA and die so much that they hate me. Yeah. Before we take you there, another big Star Wars Battlefront fan has some exciting news. Hi guys, it's John Boyega here. Thought I wasn't going to turn up. Yes, I was. But I'm sorry I can't be there with you because um, I'm doing a play in London. But I do have some great news. Obviously, you know I'm a massive fan of Star Wars Battlefront 1. And now we're going into the next chapter with Star Wars Battlefront. So they really are trying to very, very push very this, the, the first DICE EA so, game out there. Like, this was the greatest, this was the best of all time. No, the original Battlefront was better. Alongside with Captain Phasma as part of the first season of free content. And there's more. On top of that, we also get to play on the new planet Kray that you saw at, on the uh, Last Jedi teaser trailer uh, in April. So this is going to be an exciting time. I'm going to be playing. If you see Finn running around whooping some ass, it's me. Um, so I'm getting ready, getting set for you guys to play with me on Star Wars Battlefront 2. And I'm excited. Let's play. <laughs> ah, look at Phasma. Finn and Phasma are headed to Star Wars Battlefront 2 this holiday. And it will be free. Yes. EA just said something for free. Wow. That must be North Korea, must be unifying. Mm. And it's fucking nigh. Can't swear. They're not charging us for something? What the hell is going on here? Weapons and vehicles will be free for everyone who owns Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yes. More free stuff. Yesterday, More free stuff. Players who pre -order Why is will the get season pass in this? Multiplayer beta and uh, looks like I've got to pre-order it then. I've got to go back on my promise. So, Sorry. Got to pre-order it. Essential Star Wars story. Multiplayer across all three Star Wars eras. Yes, but Star Wars Battlefront needs a really, really, really good single player. Stop focusing on multiplayer. All multiplayers are the same nowadays. You run around and shoot other people. They're just different games, exact same version in a different kind of skin. All multiplayer games are the same nowadays. Single player is where it's at. And Star Wars could be a perfect platform for any single player game. But nobody's utilising anything on it. I bet Skirmish will be terrible on this. I really would like to know more about Skirmish on Star Wars Battlefront. Assault on Feed, the world premiere of Star Wars Battlefront 2's multiplayer. Thanks so much. And we have commentators. This is going to be poor. Multiplayer gameplay, Assault on Feed. We're ready to show you guys the live gameplay for the first time. I'm your host, I Justine, and with me here today, we've got Golden Boy and Paul Kesslin. Pissed off that I wasn't invited. What have we got going on here today, guys? I really don't miss. I mean, the amount of Star Wars stuff I've got on my channel, and you know everyone I love Star Wars Battlefront. We'll be showing the people going, the droids that are attacking Feed. Not happy. I really thought I was going to be invited. Okay, we've got clones. I want to see what the new era looks like. Graphics look good. Combat a little bit iffy. Um. Oh no! 
Come on, man. <laughs> Missed that tower. You just, you just did it wrong there, buddy. So Sorry about we, that. But we also do have the air support, but we also have ground support as well. We do, we do. Uh, so another thing that those air vehicles are great at is trying to take out some of the, the ground vehicles that you may see. The droid army has the AAT tank, something that's really great at troop suppression. Uh, huh. We see here a little clip of the V-Wing doing that. Oh, man, he's just mowing some, some droids down there. How do we get into vehicles? My my squeaking chair there. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. nice. Quite weird about this is that they're using the animated series voice actor for this clone. Uh, they should have used the actual live screen Commander Cody voice for this. It would have been a lot better because it seems weird when you have the animated series clones voice actor voicing over this. It feels more live, so you should have had the proper Commander Cody actor instead of it making feel a bit cartoonish. It feels a little bit less immersive with that voice. We want to give you a little bit more weapon variety this time around, yeah. Yeah. Also, some AAT tank action here, and this is doing what it does best, just suppressing that point, trying to keep those clones out of the way. They're trying to make their way forward uh, as the objective oh, continues ooh. to march down. He has to get away from that. Trying to, I don't know, he's trying to flank the tank. That's not smart. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe he will. Maybe oh, there's a little combat roll there. That'll give you some escape options in case you get into some, some hairy action. Uh oh, we didn't get to see this one before. Finally, <laughs> tell us about it. Some ATRTs. Yeah. This is uh, very reminiscent of the old Battlefronts, especially number two. They have an ion charge ability. They'll, that way, they'll be able to do a little bit more extra damage against the tank should they see it. So you can imagine, like three or four of these on the battlefield, really rushing around points. Like, look at this. It's just, just a casual droid just bunny hopping out of the way. Oh, I was actually gonna say, could I get shot off of it if I'm on top of it because my body's exposed? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that question was answered, you know, instantly. Almost immediately. Yeah, almost immediately. Oh man. So, uh, Mr. Musel here. You know, look for this guy to be on a tear a little bit later as well. And also, I did want to highlight we had an officer, as a matter of fact, right in front of Star Wars. You did, HBO one of my there. favorite classes. What is it about the officer that makes it so unique? I mean, my, my Twitch skills aren't where they used to be. I'm Fair. a bit slower nowadays, uh, but I'm, I'm able to. to do the silver and gray ones with you know, the green visor, those jump troopers, they were the best. One uh, well, of my favorite con troopers. Oh man, I should have kept them. Should have kept them. What did I say? Boom, sudden ray. Every female now gets hyped. Disney now pushes for the roof. I don't feel immersed with those types of people on here with mixed heroes or different eras. I don't feel immersed. This is stupid. This is stupid. Han now? Nah, this is stupid. I don't agree with it. You could have Obi Wan. You could have Mace Windu. Plo Koon. In this is uh, um, it's a bit annoying because I mean I don't really agree with having cross enemies over different eras. After a while, it'll just get really, you know, to the hardcore fans, a bit annoying. It's like, oh, he's not really in this era, is he? No, he's just a boy at this time. Just coming out of his test tube. But Darth Maul looks good. Gameplay looks alright. I mean, I can give the full verdicts once I actually play it. At the moment, it looks a little bit iffy and off to me. Doesn't look right. A lot of hip hop. Well, when we play, we'll, we'll give the final verdict. One more time, and then that's it.
Gameplay's okay. Again, told me nothing. Nice to a skirmish mode, but how much single player action are we going to get? Bar the multiplayer. Um, I don't know, I mean, it really didn't tell us that much at all. I mean, it, it, it didn't say that. Yeah, the gameplay's. I'm all right. 50 out of 100 for me on the gameplay. I mean, as I say, I need hands-on with it to make my mind up fully. Yeah, I'm going to have to pre-order it now because I want to play the beta. Um, second trailer, yeah, it's okay. But again, I, I don't really feel it tells me much. I mean, it looks like we still got to wait to get more information. Single player is where I really want to learn more. Multiplayer, yeah, I know. It'll basically be reskins, a little kind of changes to gamers we've had. And they'll be just re put back into multiplayer. But it's single player. I want to know if they've got anything brand new that, that can keep us going, keep us playing. Nobody's going to be addicted to multiplayer all the time. So there's no point keep constantly bombarding us with multiplayer. Single player is where it's at, you know, because that is where entertainment can be had and fun no matter what skill level that is where you can get your Star Wars immersion mostly in the single player in multiplayer you just go out there and just get kills you don't focus on like Star Wars immersion do you in single player where it's just you by yourself alert NPCs that's when you try and create your own little Star Wars fantasies because it's just you and the game where it's multiplayer it's you and loads of other people and you know you want to try and rank up and beat other people and just kill that's it so single player is an area which needs a lot of covering so far on here. Would like more details to have been said, but there wasn't that much. Multiplayer, as I said, looks okay. Doesn't look too good. I want um, more shown on the original trilogy era and the pre. Uh, not sorry, not the prequels. I mean, we've seen that now. That's done. I want to see what the new era looks like. The first order. They look good in graphics, but I want to see what their game's like, what they've got, what's happening. I don't know if they are going to release so much due to the, you know, the last Jedi being released. They might give away some stuff, but I want to see some hints, more snippets, not just little clips. I want to see a little bit of gameplay from that sort of era. A bit of a shameful that I'm not happy with that we're going to have cross heroes across different eras. I think that's really stupid and it will start getting annoying. It's like that helmet that stormtroopers back in the first battlefront. People will start slowly getting annoyed with it and then they will start complaining. It's the same thing here. I mean, because Han Solo might be overpowered. People moan, people get tweaked and it will look different. It is going to happen. I'm not happy. If it was kind of single player, then yeah, and it was on Skirmish, you could just create your own fun. As I said, you can go back and create your own Star Wars immersion. But on multiplayer, it's just to be... You could have had the opportunity to put so many hero characters in there. Yeah, there was a kind of general Grievous kind of cry during the trailer. Um, so I might have confirmed him. But there are so many great Jedi characters there as well that could be put in. I mean, you even got Jango Fett. I mean, you know, and they're just going across all this. It's stupid. It's it's not focused on anything. Uh, if you want to have a cross a hero battle, why not do what they did in the old Styles Battlefront games? Instant action, the hero map, just have a whole multiplayer mode where it's all the heroes from all areas facing off against each other. That would be so much fun. I mean, come on, Star Wars EA, I mean, it's the same game. You just rip it off. It doesn't matter. You're not copying anyone. Nobody's going to moan. It'll be quite fun. I need more information. That's what we need. I don't think we were told enough. I think Gamescom coming up, maybe D20, if that's still coming up. We need more information. I don't. F we. 
I don't feel we barely scratched the ice on this. It's just showing off gameplay and I'm alright with it. I'm not hyped. I'm not as excited as I was for the last game. Uh, my expectations are still a bit of a low. I need a lot of convincing. Yes, I'm going to pre-order it, unfortunately. Um, but I need a lot of convincing and I would like to see a lot more on the game. It's disappointing to see um, only one show of a map. I thought they might show us some more multiplayers. At least show us what we more get on the beta. So they won't really spoil anything. Where they can, could have showed at least two game modes on two different maps. Cross double errors. It wasn't really the greatest showcase in the world. But anyway. That's that's my that's my thoughts on it. I might go into it a little bit more. I've got some Battlefront 1 gameplay on the way for the channel. Finally got some time. I'm going to do some Battlefront 1 gameplay, so subscribe to see that. It's a good old trip down memory lane, and I will talk about the new Battlefronts while I'm playing that game as well, so I hope to see you guys there. If not, please subscribe, please help us support the channel, keeping us helping growing. I cover Star Wars and other gaming content. I'm trying my best to keep more gaming content coming to this channel. Money's tight at the moment, so I'm just trying to search for the best games that I can enjoy, you can enjoy, we can all have a good time watching. If I don't see you, then I might bump into you at a local McDonald's. If not, remember to stay happy. Smack the like button on your way.